Hey guys, what's good? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. So I want to deal with the question, how do you try to build out your portfolio when you work for a company uh, that doesn't allow you to show any of the work that you do? Uh, this is typical, very typical of tech companies, B2B companies. Um, if you're working on a consumer facing app, obviously uh, the projects and things that you work on are already available to the public. But when you work on, um, when you work on B2B software um, that, that you know, clients pay for and uh, it's B2B, business to business, um, you can't display any of that work. Um, I deal with this at ADP. Big, um, <clears throat> big payroll company, the software that they sell to companies, they don't want any of us to display any of that work out there because uh, it's a conflict of interest not a conflict of interest, but for competitive reasons. You don't want competitors out there seeing all you know, the projects and things that you're working on. So how do you deal with it as a UI, UX designer? You've been working for a company for four years now, and that's been my case. I've been working at ADP for four years. Not once have I displayed any of uh, the work on my portfolio. So how do you deal with that when you're trying to grow and showcase your portfolio work? The short answer is never show the work, okay? That's the short answer. You can get fired. And two, um, companies, if you display your work to, to companies that are hiring you, <clears throat> that also looks bad. Um, there was one situation where I was interviewing with this top tech company and um, they were like, we don't want you to show us any of your work uh, for the company that you're working for. Um, you know, if you can't, you know, we don't, we don't want to do that because there's legal reasons, there's legal ramifications to that. So never display the work, okay? That's the easiest thing. But how do you get around that? I have a solution. This is how I get around it. Um, so what you do is you want to create personal concept work that, that uses the same element, not the same elements, but the same things that you've learned on the job. I'll give you an example. Um, if, you go to, if you go to my portfolio, if you just go to my website, click on portfolio right there at the top. And if you just scroll down to this, this uh, concept project right here, it's called Matrix, okay? Matrix, this was um, a concept project that I did um, several years ago, but basically what it does is showcases a lot of the same things that I do at ADP. And basically it's a different, this, this matrix uh, project that I worked on was a, it's a realtor business solution, right? Um, so it has, it has nothing to do with ADP. ADP is a payroll company, but at ADP we did dashboards. And so what I did at the time when I designed this particular um, project, uh, our style of design was almost similar. Like we had this, uh, you know, like sort of these gradients in, the, in these um, headers like this. I was using, um, as you can tell, this design is like maybe, you know, three, four years old in terms of the design style. And so I was, I was using, I was the same type of design elements and, and sort of like things that I learned on the job at ADP, I put it into this app. Though this app is totally, completely different. ADP obviously doesn't have listings for, for, um, homes on the market. Um, do we use graphs? Yes, we use graphs at ADP. We use pie charts and things like that. We don't use any Google map searching, but um, document storing, we do we do that stuff at ADP. But as you can see, a lot of these elements are, are things that I've learned at work, but um, I put into a, a completely different app. Uh, do we use pop-up modals like this at work? Of course, we use stuff like this. We obviously don't have houses, we don't have Google Maps, but um, we have buttons and close buttons and share buttons and things like that, like little print options. We, we use those type of features at work. And so what I did was I tried to incorporate some of those elements in this personal project. Um, here's a contact page. This is a contact page. Um, do we use contact, uh, do we have a contact list page like this at work? Yep, we do but this is completely different, uh, completely different interface in terms of uh, the context. But um, 
we use something like this at ADP where we have tabs and we had a, a, a secondary navigation bar and, and like action items and things like that. So some of the things that I'm showing here, showcasing here, like pagination, right? We use those, we use that widget elements in at ADP. Um, also, little pop-up modal like that. Also, this last one here, calendar. This is a calendar feature that I designed for this particular business app. And we, we, we actually have a scheduling calendar widget at ADP. Um, so, as you can see here, uh, and you can go to this site and kind of look at the details of this, these, um, this, this concept project. It's called Matrix. Just click on the one that says Matrix and you can take a look at it. But basically, basically, um, let me zoom in there. Yeah. So basically, basically, uh, the thing is this, is you don't want to show any of your work, but let's say you've been working on a project for a year. Okay. You did some cool, you know, maybe it's a page you worked on. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a long single website type of page. Use the same concept, but use a totally different business vertical, right? Uh, maybe you worked on this cool mobile app. Um, and it had these type of features. Maybe it had a, um, a profile page in there or it had uh, the ability to, I don't know, cross over to Google Maps or what have you. You can use those same concepts and things that you've learned on the job but apply it to a completely separate, non-competing app, um, personal project. And that's the way I would say, I would tell um, potential employers say hey I can't show my work but some of the things that we do at ADP I put into this particular app so you can kind of get an idea of my visual design style my visual design um, skills and, and my thought process as I build out this app same types of uh, skills and 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 methods that I use at ADP I put into this concept app and that's how I can showcase the skills that I'm learning today all right hopefully this was helpful um, if you're not doing this already, think about um, doing this uh, for your own portfolio. Anyway, thanks for commenting, thanks for liking, and always thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you like the things that I talk about, hit the thumbs up, and always visit my site, mlwebco.com, and use the contact link on my site to ask me any questions. I'll be happy to answer those for you. We'll talk soon, guys. Peace.